Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and I'm going to try to get some back-to-back -back videos done here real quick. Um, this first one is going to be on um, estate sales and yard sales that we hit last weekend. Um, it was a little less than normal that we pick up the company that we like to go to on Wednesdays, the estate, estate sale company. They didn't have one this week. Um, and then Friday we went out a little bit, but not a whole lot. And then I went out with my sister Saturday, and it was terrible. Terrible. But still got some good stuff. So let me go ahead. If you're new to my channel, um, I've been selling on eBay for 22 years. Um, most of this has been full-time. I started out selling toys. We have branched off into other stuff, but toys are going to always be my first love specifically vintage stuffed animals. So I usually try to start with my stuffed animals, so I'll go ahead and show you some of the things I picked up. It's not a lot, but I got some treasures here. I'll just start with Frosty. I always pick up Frosty the Snowman, and then specifically this one is Jimmy. Um, they're animated, and they always do really, really well. Of course, always check the comps. I couldn't find anything specifically like him, but I am I paid, I think, one or two dollars for him, and I'm guessing $25 plus for him. But again, he's attached to the box, but I may just go ahead and test him just to make sure he works. Oh, you want to take that? This needs a bath. This is Russ, and it's Nikki. I've picked it up several times. I think I paid less than a dollar for this. I think we stopped somewhere and it was like a quarter or 50 cents for everything. Um, but she's usually like 12 to 15 dollars only. But again, it depends on how clean I can get her. I picked up a couple of Spark Create Imagines. I always buy these. I couldn't find anything specifically specifically like this one. I'm hoping probably in the 12 to 15. And then this bear, I hadn't had a chance to do comps on it. The bears don't usually do as well as some of the others, like the the rattles or the animals or dogs. So I probably still going to be in the 8 to 12. Oh, wait, I think there was one more. Oh, yep, another Spark Create Imagine. I've been doing really well. I just, I think, listed... One that's a little bit bigger than this, that's the Spark Create Imagine, and it was like the St. Bernard. I've talked about the dog that has the Rottweiler colors. It does very well also. I'm still hoping this one's probably, because it's smaller, in the $8 to $12. This is Nala. She, I think, is 1993 Mattel from Lion King. I paid $2 for her. And I think she's about $20. I may go a little bit higher because I didn't see too many listeds like her. This is Barrington Bears. This is a frog lovey. I did do some comps on it. I've got my little cheat sheet over here. And these are selling between $30 and $35. And I want to say I bought this at um, a yard sale for probably a dollar. I did go to this big yard sale, but it was outside of a church. In the past, I've done really, really well there, but I think this week I only bought like one thing there, and it was these people who do the pallets, and everything in their boxes was a dollar, and this is incomplete. All I'm going to do, this is from Paw Patrol, and it's a pterodactyl. I'm just going to pull it out and probably list it for about $10. I don't think there's anything else in the other parts of it. This is Booba. I don't find these very often. It is animated. I'm not sure if it's on. I did test it at one point and it did work. Booba. That's all it does. Oh, the battery's going low on this because it's supposed to jiggle. But these do really well. And there's a smaller version that's not animated like this. But the Booba's probably about $35. Kind of creepy looking. It's very, it's kind of in that whole Teletubby and Booba were kind of like 
on the PBS stuff. It was very weird. Dropping my stuff. This is just a rainbow Scooby-Doo. I haven't done comps on it. It's by Toy Factory. I've talked about that brand before. They do a lot of less than great quality blush, but I still pick it up. He'll probably still be in like the 10 to $12, maybe 15. This is a Thai Pillow Pals. Now I talk about the Thai Pluffies quite often, but this is another one that I do like to pick up. It's probably still only going to be like 10 to $15. He doesn't have his ear tag, so that may affect the value a little bit. But I really like the Thai Pillow Pals also. Last couple plush. He's been around a pet, so I'll have to get him washed. Um, but I think it's what, Sid, Sid the Sloth from Ice Age? I think that's what his name was. Was he? No, he wasn't the sloth. That's not a sloth. No, that's, that's, that, that's that squirrel. Yeah, I don't know. But I tend to do quite well with Ice Age because, you know, it's been a few years since they released any movies. I'm hoping 15 or more for him because he is a larger size. But I forget his name. I can't remember. Oh, bought a Mario. Actually, Luigi from Mario. But I just realized he's got a booboo on his leg, so he's going to have to go in the repair pile. Again, probably still only like 8 to 12. This is Spark Create Imagine. It too needs a bath. I never can tell. This could be a $6 toy or this could be a $15 toy. You just never know sometimes with the Rattle Plush. But I'll have comps over here for you. Scrat. Scrat. That's it. He was one of my favorites, too. Okay, this I paid 75 cents for. It is vintage Cuddle Me Toys, which I think was Kelly Toy, if I'm not mistaken. It is older. It's got that stiff stuffing inside of it. Again, I didn't do the comps on this, but more than likely I'll list this probably for $15 to $20. Oop. Now this was my surprise now. Again, Vintage Plus, I'm going to pick it up. I think I paid a dollar or less for this. I'm gonna, I did make a boo-boo on this one because I didn't check the battery pack and it actually had a rusted battery in it, but it didn't seem to affect it. But let me, let me show you this. I love you. He works. Now there's some list. I'm going to get the battery back out. There we go. There are some listed, I want to say like in the $50, $60 range, but I checked Terapeak, and one of these that was working did sell for $100. So I'm going to get him some spot cleaning, um, clean up the battery case a little bit better, and I may shoot, you know, for $90 to $100 for this one also. I'm going to try to keep that battery together. All right, some non-toy stuff. We, we didn't get as many toys because we didn't hit as many successful yard sales this week. Now this is, if it works. Now I just tested another one that I had shown in a haul and it didn't work. Um, it was a Mrs. Santa Claus. So I'm hoping this one works. That's the risk you take when you buy stuff like this. I always say I'm going to carry batteries and a screwdriver with me and check these things before I buy it, but I never do. Um, I think I paid probably one or two dollars for him, and he sells between thirty and forty dollars if he's working. Again, I think yeah, he's Jimmy also. Um, there's a couple of different rockin' Santas, but fingers crossed he works. I did purchase this. I did pay five dollars for it, but I just opened it up. It's not complete. Um, but it does have some of the figures, and it does have a couple of the um, bags are unopened and the instructions. So I'll have um, our son see what he can do with it as far as putting it together. Maybe it'll be close enough that I can, you know, at least get my five bucks back for it. I picked this up. This is La La Loopsie. I've already sold all the figures. I still have an amusement park that I 
listed and it um, it's packed up but I think I might go ahead and unpack it and put this with it or I may just sell this separate I haven't decided that's a whole lot of work I did pay a dollar for this but I don't have any figures to go with it we went to a they advertised on Facebook that um, it was an estate sale and everything was a dollar so we had to drive what about four about 45 minutes. minutes to it and there was quite a few interesting things there I don't think we ended up spending maybe twenty dollars total I think she just kind of went a bundle deal but Robert picked this up it is Hickory Farms it's like a little butcher block cheese cutter and he looked this up and it's it sells for between fifteen and twenty dollars we picked this up at that estate sale also um, I actually have two I haven't comped either one of them they just need a good cleaning. I'm hoping probably maybe 10 to $20 for them. This one's called the Whistler. And this one just seemed unique before I flip it over. But yeah, they're very dusty dirty. I also picked up this candy jar. It says old fashioned flavor sticks. It was just a dollar at an estate sale also. And when we did comps, it was probably 10 to $15, I believe. I have several of these. I collect some of these older jars upstairs, but I'm not going to add it to my collection. I picked this up at a half price sale um, at an estate sale. It was $3 after half price. And these sell for about... 30 to 35 dollars and it did have its cord and all of its I want to say guts um, so I thought this was just very unique it's just a uh, one of those percolator coffee pots by Presto must have been teapot weekend for us this one is called Jetomatic and it too just needs a good cleaning it also has its guts, and these were comping between about $25 and $40, and of course it has its cord. And I've not seen this brand before, but it says Iona, and it's like a milkshake maker, home use drink mixes, and we looked this up, and it, it's probably about $20 for it, and I think this might have been at that dollar, that dollar estate sale. I did buy this. I'm going to add it to my my collection of vintage Fisher Price that's still sitting on the edge of the table right there because I still don't have a shelf. You've been pestering me about doing too many other things to get to the shelf. But yes, I want to say I think I paid like five dollars for this, but it's the vintage cash register, but it does have its coins, and you can sell these coins for what probably way more. Than you would if you just sold the, the cash register so that may be and be what i end up doing i may sell the coins and then put the register over in my booth and sell it for like five bucks but after i display it on my shelf that i don't have yet <laughs> he's giving me the look <laughs> You deserve the look after all of that. A couple of more Christmas stockings. Um, I always pick them up all year round. Um, this one is, I'm not even sure. It's that puff -a lump type nylon material. Probably still in the $12 to $15 range. I haven't done comps on this one yet, but it does have a sticker on its side that says it is Gorham. So I'm hoping, it says little berry Christmas on it, I'm hoping just because it's Gorin that it'll be like $12 or so, but I might be surprised. And then, of course, I haven't opened it up. It's all wrapped in there, though. But this is one of those graduated candlesticks that are brass. This one says Made in Taiwan by Interper. I did, it was at the half price sale, so I paid $2 for it. Again, I'm hoping, usually on this type of stuff, I can get like $20 to $25 for it. 
did pick up some more brass. I actually got one of the t um, unlisted totes out today, and it's all upstairs. I had to wash them. They were just really dusty, dusty. So they're all sitting upstairs drying. Got a little bit more brass, and then I'm going to do some brass this week as far as for listing. I'm still selling it. If you look on my watts solds, almost every single week I'm selling a, a couple of pieces. Just picked this up. Uh, it's Thermoware. It's a vintage ice bucket. No clue what the comps are. I'm sure we only paid about a dollar for it. Um, but I'm hoping like the $12 range or so for it. I was at this estate sale and they had a whole lot of um, vintage Tupperware, but it was in rough shape had been very much loved and used but these were all laying underneath it and it didn't have any of the the cake pans and stuff that these would go to so I went and asked them if they were just going to sell the handles and they sold each one of these for 10 cents each so I think there's eight of them because my bill was like five dollars and eighty cents but I looked some of these up and some of them sell for probably eight dollars with free shipping so I'm hoping if I put a couple of these that are similar together, I can list these for, you know, 10 to $12 plus shipping. But we'll see. I paid a dollar each for these. They have a Made in Japan sticker on the bottom. They're these raised embossed or whatever type of cups. They're probably not worth a whole lot. I just thought they were unique. Um, and I've sold similar things like this. I'm hoping the two of them I can get maybe like $10 to $15 for them. A couple of more plush I found in one of the bags. I thought this was unique. Um, I think she charged me a dollar for both of these at that um, estate sale. But it's a barrette holder. She's got these long yarn things and I guess you can put barrettes on them. I just thought it was cute. Probably something I'm going to list for $10 to $12. And then this needs a bath, but I just thought it was cute. It was from $19.99. It too is that little nylon stuff. Probably still going to be about $10 or so. And then a couple of dish things I picked up. These are those fiberglass bowls. They have like this nautical type thing to them. I have no clue. She charged me a dollar for all five of these. Um, I'm hoping maybe about $10 for the two of these. And then these intrigue me because they say Ljubljana, Poland. They just kind of got this vintagey feel to me. They're nice quality, but there's three of them. And I looked it up and I couldn't find anything similar to this. But I'm, I don't know. I'm hoping $10 each. And I'll just do one listing. I think we got these also at that dollar. Just some more vintage type. This is those um, adjustable looms. You could make the hot pads when we were kids. Probably still only going to be $8 to $12. And then this was Ronco. And it's a flower loom. Just for more types of craft stuff. I haven't done comps on it, so hopefully if there's anything similar to it, it'll be over there. But it does have its instructions and everything. I, who knows, I may even put those two together since they're kind of crafty. I've been um, listing quite a few pairs of shoes. I listed the Chacos that I featured earlier in another haul paid $5, sold them about the same day, I think, for $20. Um, I did pick these up. I think they were a dollar. No, these were $3. Some Clarks. Just very nice quality. I don't know a whole lot about shoes, but I do think, my sister has told me Clarks are good. And then, how much did you pay for these Chacos? $2, I think. Yeah, I think these were $2, two or three men's Chacos. They seem to be in very good condition. I seem to be doing pretty good with Chacos for like $20 to $25. And then she also sold me um, these Roxy sandals for $0.50. Flip-flops. I think I comped them like 
like nine or ten dollars I don't remember all right we bought a bunch of clothes again I'm probably not gonna show clothes anytime soon it's just a whole bunch of jeans there's not much there's not much ooh and on and over a pair of jeans so this was it for this one I'm probably gonna turn right around and do another one of my favorite stuff which is that um, high bid online estate sale that I did where it's just been tons and tons of nostalgic toys all right so again if you're liking what I um, the videos that I'm making please do like and subscribe um, I've had a real big push um, I had Courtney from Bolo Buddies shout me out in a couple of her videos and I, I grained how many 65 or so yeah 60 some new members in the last um, few days so it's been fun it kind of keeps me motivated all right um thanks again